Need a new can opener? Our kitchen experts research the market before buying and testing 10 of the best models side by side. We include a range of traditional models, innovative designs, and manual versus electric ones, upon which we ran tests and assess them on their sharpness, ease of use, versatility, durability, and style and footprint. We open nearly a hundred cans of all shapes and sizes to determine exactly how each can performs across varying consumer needs. After days of measuring, testing, and can opening, we have a recommendation that fits your specific needs, all informed by dedicated, hands-on use. The first product on our list is Hamilton Beach Smooth Touch Opener. It's easy to attach any size can to the Hamilton Beach Smooth Touch, and this was our overall favorite electric model. The guiding bar above the blade places the can in the perfect spot every time. The oversized locking lever is easy to use, and the smooth touch design breaks the can seal along the lid's edge instead of breaking through it. The result is an open can and lid with smooth edges, hence the name. Very little of the contents of the can remains on the open as blades, creating minimal cleanup, a bonus of this design. The smooth touch isn't without its flaws, though. The guiding bar and all of the gears for can attachment are made of metal, but the lever that controls the locking mechanism is plastic. The introduction of plastic levers and electrical elements draws durability into question. The countertop design doesn't have any additional features like a bottle opener, and it requires a lot more space than the handheld models, considerations for those who infrequently open cans or lack excess counter space. That said, this open as chrome and black look is timeless and sleek, so it's not an eyesore on your counter. Overall, the Hamilton Beach Smooth Touch is the best option if you open lots of cans and desire the easiest solution available. The second product on our list is EZ Does IT Deluxe. For the best overall manual performance, the classic style of the EZ Does IT just can't be beat. This opener looks just like the one many of us grew up using, and probably the one our parents grew up with as well. The EZ Does IT Deluxe sticks to a classic all-metal construction with rubber grips that slide over the handles. The metal construction earns the model top mocks in durability. The metal handles are covered in grippy, comfortable rubber. When attempting to puncture large cans, the grips, combined with the rigidity of the metal, give a great mechanical advantage. This opener performs equally on everything from small 6 ounces cans of tomato paste to large 28 ounces cans of crushed tomatoes. Besides being just about as affordable as a can opener can get, it is also exceptionally durable, a combo we salute. While the EZ Does IT is a great traditional option, there are a few areas it falls a little flat. The tendency to disconnect from the rim of the can when there is too much downward pressure on the handles is the most notable. This results in the lid being very difficult to remove because it is still attached in two places. Although initially frustrating, a little bit of practice mitigated this issue. Additionally, this no-fuss design does lend itself to creating shop edges on the can's lid, as is common with this opener style. This might not be the best option if you have impaired dexterity or small children helping in the kitchen. However, with a bit of caution, the lid is still possible to remove. If you are looking for a good old-fashioned can opener that has the potential to outlast the competition, the Easy Does IT Deluxe is the opener for you. The next product in our list is Quizanot Deluxe CCO50. If you are seeking the luxury of a countertop electric can opener with a manual can opener's price tag, check out the Quizanot Deluxe Electric. You can have this white, sleek countertop model for just a little more than most manual can openers. The magnet feature holds on to the cut lid for easy removal, and the large lever makes it easy to puncture the tops of cans of all sizes. The auto stop feature stops the opening and holds the can as soon as the lid is completely removed, making for easy, hands-off use. Additionally, the magnet and blade are easily removed for cleaning away from the electric pots. Out of the five commonly available can sizes tested on each opener, two remain stuck in the Cuisinot's locking levers clamp during testing. They were removed with a little additional pressure, but it was easy to spill the can's contents while doing so. Another drawback of this style is that it creates a jagged and shop lid. The magnet makes it easy to remove the lid, but this isn't the best option if you have small children or would prefer a smooth edge. Additionally, the locking lever, the casing around the magnet, and the socket that attaches the blade slash magnet to the body are all made of plastic. These high-use pots might lose some of their sleek chrome appearance as the paint chips away or wear down over time. Overall, we feel the Quizanot works better than expected for its entry-level price if you are looking to try an electric model. The next product is Kitchen Mama Electric. It says yes you can write on the pink box, and, well, yes, it can. The Kitchen Mama Electric is a surprising standout. Out of the box, 
It's fun pop off as something different from the otherwise modest looking competition. After taking a few moments to determine exactly how to place the compact electric opener on the can, attaching it becomes effortless. The single button that operates the kitchen mama is easy to press and securely locks to the lid's edge for hands-free operation. Once the opener makes a complete rotation, pressing the button stops the opener and detaches it from the lid. The result is a smooth lid and can, with no food product left on the opener. Even the smallest cans did not cause any issues for the kitchen mama. There are just a few downsides to this opener. It operates on four AA batteries, which leads to an additional cost of upkeep. Also, as a handheld electric model, it is likely to be knocked off of the countertop from time to time. When we tested this model for its drop resistance, the battery casing popped off, and the battery scattered. Though we didn't experience any cracking during our drop test, we would recommend exhibiting care to not drop this model, as the plastic shell feels somewhat thin. Overall, we were very impressed by the Kitchen Mama, even if you have to replace it eventually. It takes minimal effort to operate and produces a smooth lid and can. All in all, this is an excellent and hip solution for those who struggle to operate a traditional opener or who don't want to add an appliance to their countertops. The next product in our list is Joseph Joseph Can Do Compact. The Joseph Joseph Can Do Compact is at least a third of the size of any of the openers we tested, clearly earning its place in some kitchens. It is only 2 inches in diameter and about the same in height. This is a good option if you need a little can opener for camping trips or have limited space. The Joseph Joseph attaches is securely to the can's lid, and it takes moderate effort to turn the timer like plastic dial. Once it is through the lid, and after lifting it off using the locking feature, pressing the release button on the opener's side takes firm pressure. Left-handed folks will appreciate that this model works ergonomically for either dominant hand. While the Joseph Joseph is interesting in its colorful style and innovative design, it leaves room for improvement in its performance. Its design removes the entire top of the can, cutting just below where the lid is sealed. This created problems in the smoothness of operation for us, because the labels on the cans almost always became caught in the gears. Additionally, it left an open can with a sharp edge that lacks stability due to removing the thicker metal on the rim. This opener became stuck on some of the larger cans tested. After testing all 10 cans, the button release function was already showing signs of wear, becoming completely stuck on the can's lid. No other option saves kitchen space better, though it's unclear how long the Joseph Joseph will perform. The next product in our list is OXO Good Grips Soft Handle. As the name suggests, the OXO Good Grips has the nicest grips of the manual can open as tested. The grips are soft, textured, and maintain their functionality even when wet. This was a nice contrast to some of the smooth plastic featured on the other options. Turning the opener is relatively easy due to the oversized round knob. After a few tries to figure out the best angle to hold the opener to the can, the blade slices smoothly and evenly. It performed well on the smallest cans and is the most compact of the classic can opener styles we tested. It also includes the additional feature of a bottle opener. While the grips are nice, puncturing the cans proved more difficult with this model. The handle's plastic structure leads to a lot of flex, which increases the force you must use and reduces your mechanical advantage. This is not the best fit for you if you do not want to or cannot use a lot of FOSS. The plastic spacer in the gears and the plastic in the handles lead our team to question its longevity. Though not a poor option, we think there are some better models out there than the OXO Good Grips, however, none with as nice of handles. The next product is Kuhn Rikon Auto Safety Monster. The Kuhn Rikon Auto Safety Monster shares some features with classic models of can openers, such as a bottle opener and a large knob to turn the gears. The way it connects to the can, however, is unique. It is easy to get the opener to latch onto the top of the can and break the seal along the edge. This opener also includes the additional features of pinces for lid removal, a pull tap opener, and an opener for twist off bottle caps. No other model we tested featured quite as many additional features. This opener can do many things, but there are a few areas in which it falls shot in our eyes. The Kuhn Rikon showed difficulty opening the large diameter cans, 28 ounces and up, digging into their side, and creating a dent where the lid could not be removed. As far as performance, the switch for the lid removing pinces required a lot of pressure, and the release function, turning the knob counterclockwise, was inconsistent. Lastly, outside of the blade and gears, most of the opener is made out of plastic. It seems likely that the high-use pots like the pincer switch will wear out with extended use. In addition to its four bonus functions, the Kuhn Rikon provides decent can opening capabilities. 
The next product in our list is KitchenAid Classic. With several different bright and stylish colors, the KitchenAid Classic is a traditional manual can opener design. The large, oversized knob is easy to turn. The long handles help lend a mechanical advantage when puncturing the can, making it a little easier than some compact models. Additionally, KitchenAid Classic boasts a high carbon stainless steel blade. While the brightly colored plastic and oversized handles and knobs are aesthetically pleasing, they also created a few functionality issues during our tests. The opener's large size is suitable for most cans, but the smallest cans made it feel a little awkward. It also takes up a lot of space in a kitchen drawer. The plastic on the grips is light and slippery, which can make this opener challenging to use. This was the most colorful of the openers we tested and would be a great addition to a kitchen that prioritizes aesthetics. The next product is KitchenAid Multifunction. The KitchenAid Multifunction is another good middle-of-the-road option for a slightly more stylish opener. We really liked how the larger size of the handles provided good leverage to puncture the can's top. The oversized knob is another great feature providing additional leverage, as it helps to turn the gears more smoothly when cutting the lid. This opener also includes a bottle opener at the top of the product, making it simple and multifunctional as described. Where this model fell a little shot was in its durability and versatility. The handles and the knob are made of plastic and can be felt flexing when puncturing the top of the can. This plastic also makes the handle slippery when either wet or dirty, detracting from its ease of use. The large knob and handles make this model a little tricky to use on the smallest cans, even though they help with leverage. Overall, if you're looking for a simple, multifunction designed to fill your opener needs in a pinch, the KitchenAid Multifunction will fit the bill, but we don't expect it to last a lifetime. The next product in our list is Xylus Lock and Lift. At first glance, the Xylus Lock and Lift is a great option that assists with the sometimes tenuous task of removing the cut lid from the can. It locks securely to the top of the lid as the name suggests and has a magnet feature to help remove the lid from the can. The rubber grips on the plastic handles are soft and tacky. The Xylus Lock and Lift's performance was disappointing to our testers, who had high hopes for the model. The handles had a great deal of flex in their plastic, and the blade was not sharp, leading to poor puncturability. The lock button is also plastic, difficult to use, and feels as though it is about break. Unfortunately, the magnet does not attach securely to the lid and often comes detached before the lid is removed from the can, leaving the user with a shop lid to remove from the can. Overall, the Xylus Lock and Lift was promising, but the features that made it unique did not perform well for us. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.